And we're back with more Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. We got a got quite a lot to do today, let me tell you what. Gotta use Spider Ball, Metroid, Metroid. Well, yep, we do. See, a lot of things have now opened up because we have the Spider Ball now. Oh. There's so many places that we can go to. Wait, what? Oh, this But is... even then, oh. there's still more that we gotta get. All right, so. Pop into this right here, I get this elevator down. Because there's a lore right here. Shattered hope. Shattered hope. Oh my god. None of the warriors sent to the Sky Temple returned. Our oh. forces searched Dark Ether for them in vain. Of the energy transfer module, there was no sign. Though saddened, we set out to prepare another mission, to build another module, to try once more to save our dying world. Oh my god. Yeah, no, it did did not go well. Oh here. no. <laughs> oh. Nah, this is a bit of a finicky elevator, especially we didn't activate it up there, but... If you fall down the reactor core, this is supposed to be your way back up. I see. I see. Wasn't there something still down there to scan, or is that just a red herring? Or it's, it's, like I think it's just a thing to activate. Don't worry about it. Okay. I will not worry about it. So there is, uh, yeah. Yeah? We're getting a new power-up today. <gasps> oh, yes. yeah. You scan the spider ball track there. That's a that's a bit of research. I actually do like how it feels because I managed to get the spider ball when I was playing Metroid Prime, and holding the R button just felt right. It does. I think it feels like you're magnetically attracted to it. Chink, got it. All right. So now we can make our way back up here because we have the uh, we have the spider ball. Aww. And we have a dead Luminoth's testament. Another deadman. This is Sea Urch's testament. <laughs> Kirchen. Let this be the final testament of the warrior Sea Urch. I have no more shells for my weapons. For the enemy, I have nothing but blade and fist. Let them come, they wait in the works, hissing and slithering like beasts. Let them. When, war when my war cry comes, there will be a dread final reckoning. Come forth, hated enemy. Let there be an end. Wow. Badass up until the final moments. A lot of badass warriors here. I think that's why I like reading these log notes, because, you know, they're not always the same tone. Yeah. Some of them talk of tough dread, some of them talk of, oh, that's interesting. Some of them talk of, you know, a valiant final cry. Yeah, very rarely do we get triumph in these, uh, in these lores. Or Last Testaments. Well. Oh, speaking of lore. The Final Crusade! The Final Crusade. <laughs> Oh my god, very final up in While here. While our forces on Dark Aether fought desperate battles against superior numbers, our best minds completed their work, and the energy transfer module, a device designed to recover our lost planetary energy, was ready at last. A force of our greatest warriors was assembled, each equipped with the best armor and weaponry available. We sent this brave cadre of fighters to invade the Sky Temple and seize the missing energy lying within. Well, I'm gonna make a guess that that didn't fucking work. What gives you that idea? I don't know. Just an idea. I don't think it fucking worked. Are you reading ahead? So, uh, now we have the spider ball. We can go up these, uh, mechanized tracks and all that. <laughs> oh, this is cool. Just go through the inner workings of everything. Oh, wait a minute. This means we can get a temple key, right? That's right. So we're gonna head back to the dark t <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, wrong place. We're gonna head back to the dark world, and we're gonna- Oh! Oh, hi. You look big. These are ing crushers. Ing smashes, I mean. They smash ing. They smash Ing, but then the Ing took over, and now they're people smashers. Son of a bitch! Okay, yeah. Ing needs to stop that, So, right. the, so oh, hey, hey, look at that! 80% of all logbook scans! So far, so good! Not Sweet. bad, not bad, not bad. All right, also all got right, the creature right, gallery? Right. Hell yeah. Yeah. So these guys got a few methods of attack. Oh, the... the Seeing the the blaster just tink off of it. He, pull, oh he pulls up a dark beam to, for a dark shield. That makes him weak to light beam energy. Super missiles, I find, work pretty good, too. Pretty easy to find attack pattern. Hurts like hell. Yeah. And, so, and sometimes he'll interrupt your charging for your super missile to pull up one of those. Which will make everything but the opposite polarity tink. Oh, yeah. He's, it looks like he's actually destroying part of the uh, there we go. part of the area, too. That, that wasn't too bad. I thought we were talking mini-boss here. Not too bad, but thankfully when they die, they're dead for good. Oh, good. God, just imagine having to come through this hallway and just five behemoths come out of the walls. Speaking of which... Well, there's yep, more! There's another one! Two at the same time? Well, if you didn't fight that last one... 
Oh, I thought the one across from him was about to start. Oh, God! What happened? That's one of the problems I have with this game. Some enemies are not weak until their animation is complete. Oh, yeah. So they just, they, they, there's just this big nuh uh factor. <laughs> It's like, there, I shot you straight in the face with the super missile. Nuh uh, I had to roar one more time before I was ready to fight. It didn't count. Okay, that guy went out a lot quicker. Just super missile the hell out of it. Yeah. So, do you even need the light and dark beam at this point? Well, of course you do, because well, well, when mean, he puts up the, the dark beam. And... But you were still able to shoot super missiles at him after he did, like, the reverse polarity. Oh, you think we don't need the light and dark beam anymore? Well, no, I wasn't saying that. It's just for main combat. It seems like super missiles, you don't really have to switch beams as much as just wait to charge super missiles for a lot of enemies. Yeah, they know now. that, and that's why that they went ahead and changed, uh, changed polarity on certain things. It's like, oh, now I got a dark beam up, you gotta use light beam. Oh, now I got the light beam up, you gotta use your dark beam now. <laughs> Basically blah, blah. the programmer equivalent of, we have this technique, we're gonna use it. Oh, Hel these guys. Hello, boys. These guys. Just flowing through walls. This, this just makes me think of how incompetent the space pirates are, and just imagining them accidentally telefragging themselves. They just kind of run through. I, I know, yeah. <laughs> we, I'm over here. We, yeah. <laughs> Did you see that sick move, everyone else in the room? Ow. Get out of here. Get out of here. Oh, come on. These guys take too much. T t th th they're, they're damage sponges. I hate them. If there was a way to slow them down, would you attempt to use the black hole? Like, let's say you have a fully charged dark beam, you shoot them and they slow down. Would you attempt to use that and to see if it would kill it immediately? Well, and, actually, I mean, yeah, if I were to use the dark beam, it would freeze them in place. I don't think it would have so much effect here with the dark world. Yeah, good point. And it feels like I'm, you know, I use too much beam energy to take them out, no matter what beam I use. I'm, I'm just kind of frugal when it comes to beam ammo, especially for something later. Oh, I totally understand. So now we're gonna go ahead and make our way to get that uh, temple key, and we just go up here and Whee! go over here, and, well, we're kinda here already. Hey, look! We did it! <laughs> there we go! <laughs> Easy game. Yep, there we go. Now, it seems to, to suggest that there's a way out with that other track, but I didn't find one, so I'm just gonna go back. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, it just leads straight down to Phazon. Yeah, it, d it doesn't look like that there's a way out. I, none, none that I could tell, at least. But hey, that's our first temple key. Easy game. We're already one third of the way of taking out, of taking down the last temple. This is perfect. We're doing great. How far ahead are you in recording? Uh, I got one more episode after this. Mm, okay. I was just trying to gauge. At least for right now. I'm just trying to gauge. How much more could they do? Like, I doubt, with this being Metroid Prime, that unleashing the energy in the last area is the true, is, like, the end end. Well, I think what's gonna happen is we take the energy back, and then we end, we finish this fight. Oh, take it straight to Dark Samus, knock her out. Right. Destroy Phazon forever. So, so oh, I don't yeah. know if they're gonna take that temple energy for one final uh, showdown, or, or what, but... Point is, after this temple, there's one more area. We gotta hunt all the Sky Temple keys that are all, hidden all over the map. I still like the idea that we haven't seen Dark Samus in a while, and I have a funny feeling she's just like f fucking off and doing her own thing. Well, and, now and collecting Phazon. Entering the same area that uh, we did to get the first Temple key in the Light World leads to something different: a gauntlet with plenty of fire, plenty of lasers. Plenty of fire, the you know, fire is not too not too good, not too bad, but uh, these laser fences can be kind of mean. It's time for American Gladiator. It relies on you being Jeez. exact in an inexact science. Oh, they push you away. Yeah, they do. You know, if if the morph ball had like a stick to floor option, like I press L and oh, I can just, that would be just lovely. stop. That would probably help. Because, you know, there's, like, momentum here, and it's, it's a little confusing, and... Oh, I did, gamer, I did it wrong! Gamer. I did it wrong! No, no, no! Okay, here we are. Okay. Here we are. No! Ah! <laughs> Please! Ah! No! There, holy it. shit, you actually did it! Alright, I did it. Alright, good job. Nice job, man. Not done yet. Oh, gauntlet number two. There's still more. There's always more. 
This one, they, uh... Ooh! How good are you at platforming? How good are you at avoiding these, lasers? These lasers, oh, too. Oh, my yeah. God! Well, let's see. I think it's good to go, uh... Yep. To bomb jump when it's coming your way, so you can kind of land on it. Ooh, they're not all at the same time. I you thought can, they were. You can kind of tell when the lasers are going to show up, so you can use that to help you out a little bit. But then eventually it does all three, doesn't it? Uh, oh, no, no, it doesn't. There's just two. <sighs> there, we got it. Okay. All right, not bad. And there's the hole right there. Hard to see, but yoink right there. Oh, yeah, I totally didn't see that. And we're not done yet. Round three. Round three of this ridiculous gauntlet. Smaller platforms. Oh, wait, no, those were, uh, that's, those were spider balls. That's spider balls, yep. <laughs> Can you just click the button? Nope, too far away. There we go. Nothing too hard. I'm a crane game, Chozo. I'm a crane game. <laughs> that's lovely, Samus. <laughs> Look at me! So, I thought that... Uh, these were just the platforms. We can just go across here. It's, it's, it's like a rail. Okay. Ooh, and then don't we, let go of the button. Or we gotta do it all over again. Please don't. Please. All this for a missile a expansion. A single missile. A tank. single missile <laughs> expansion. That is it. Yes. Ah, uh, fantastic. Huh. And then you just let right out there. Well. Whew. Now we can move on. Mommy, I got a capsule prize. Oh, what'd you get? It's a oh, Samus Aran. it's Aaron. another Ring Smasher. I'm not gonna bother yeah, with you. I don't feel like dealing with you today. Sorry! Hey, wait a minute. Come back. They added Bombus, or whatever these class drones are here, to make this a little bit more difficult. Ain't that nice of them. I was just thinking, if they didn't, like, predetermine where you were going to be, they're kind of ineffective. Alright. Next upgrade is in here. The glitch beam. Gotta go all the way down. It launched into this cannon. Pew. Just takes you up here. <gasps> Ooh, that's fun. And here's where the game teaches you something new. Hold the boost to jump from place to place when you have the spider ball. That's cool. Technically, you're not supposed to do this yet because the game's gonna teach you how to do this later, but we know now. Hey, it's fine. So I'm doing great, I'm doing fantastic, but there's one thing I forgot to mention. The res bits there that are uh, <laughs> giving you a hard time, so. <sighs> Seems like they're not gonna give me any. any reprieve, so let's no. take them out. You know, I. I said it as a joke, but ah! getting a glitch beam just sounds kind of interesting. Like, it's the, it, it's the murder beam, basically, that you can create in Super Metroid accidentally, but via a glitch. I don't know, maybe one day. That would make it too easy. I know. Maybe nerf it a bit. It's like, what if they gave you the ultimate weapon two-thirds of the game? It's like, it's no, that would be terrible. It's like, Nintendo, please nerf. Make a glitch beam where you can just, like, hack into other... Uh, who knows? Other other bounty hunters. You hacked my armor! Actually, isn't that... God! Shit! Oh! Yeah, isn't that... Didn't that actually happen in Metroid Prime Hunters? I think that's a thing you can do in, in Prime Hunters. Oh, shoot. Well, maybe I didn't pay close attention in Metroid Prime Hunters. Shit, shit, shit. <laughs> oh, I I can get oh, come on. And... Oh, I didn't get to see if it added Spider Ball to the roster of things that needed Redux. I saw that. That's what we're getting. I saw that, beauty. And that's the beauty we're gonna get. Pew. That is our, what, ninth E-Tank? Out of? Out of... 14? We're getting there. We're getting there. I think my favorite part out of doing all these Metroid games with you is seeing it all come together and it's just like, that was our last insert item here. And it's just like, ooh, yeah. It's just filling out a map, checking off a checklist, I feel, getting everything, I being the, the most power. prepared you can be for any situation. Yeah. There, now we can go across here unmolested. Now, right wait, here wait is for a nice it. little Hot Wheels track. Beat that! Boost over here. There you go. Okay. So. Now we're gonna go to another area. One that we've been to before? Well, there was a translate door at the bottom here that we can now go through. So over here, and to the right. No drones, no drones. Excellent. 
to clearance, store system, vigilant strength, create plate, or create peace, blah 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 blah. Yada, create yada, yada, peace, yada. please. Pretty important area, I'd say. Oh, a yellow beam. Perfect the, for opening up those yellow doors. The map room. That's pretty big, actually. That's pretty major. Give me all this information, please. Knowledge. Ah, yes, knowledge. All right, we got the map for this area. <laughs> I would laugh if you opened it up and it was completely filled in already. Nope. <laughs> oh, we got a lot to do. Still more. A lot to do. E yikes. Foo boy. All right. Now, let's leave. Because we got a lot of stuff that we can get with Spider Ball. We're done here. Dun, 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 We're done dun, here. Dun, 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 the next upgrade is not here. Oh. We got We got to go. We're done here. Nothing more we can do here. All right. Peace out. Peace out. Later. Right. We got to go basically through all the other two places that we've been. We got to go to the Temple Grounds. We got to go to Aegon Waste, especially. We got to go to Torvis Bog. First of all. It's just, it's just a mess, so we gotta get back first. So that's probably another nitpick I have about this. This looks familiar. Yeah, getting, uh, getting a brand new item and saying, okay, go somewhere else. There you are! Oh, hey! Hi! Yeah, I knew it's been a while since we last saw you. What do you got? Uh, oh, oh, oh. You bitch! Oh. Oh, wait. That's actually perfect. Well, it's a good thing we got the spider ball now. The hint system would eventually tell you where to go next if you were really lost, but, you know, they want to make the whole explore exploration thing. Mm -hmm. But I know the critical path, so we don't need to worry about that. <laughs> this would be where the game teaches you about the boost jump. Uh, oh. <laughs> You're jumping ahead a little bit there, aren't you? Do you still have to be holding R when you hit dash? Yes. Okay. Otherwise, you're gonna fall off. I didn't know if it was like automatic or not. You gotta hold R to stay on these on these rails. Oh, okay. It's not too bad though. It's not just gonna be a bit harder to get back from here on out. That's cool. <laughs> All right, fine. Hi, I just came in to make your life harder. Okay, peace. Oh, Dark Samus, you always make my life harder. Oh, Dark Samus, you callous bitch. How could you? All right. Heading back to the Temple Grounds. So yeah, a lot of places have opened up in Aegon. A lot of expansions we can still get there, but that's not what we're going to focus on for the rest of this episode. We gotta go back to Torvis. Because the hint system would point you to a room in the Torvis Bog. Okay. So, that's where we're going to go for now. Yeah, maybe get a couple of extra things along the way. Maybe, maybe. Might as well. If we have the capabilities. But yes, Torvis is the place we need to go. We need to go all the way back to Torvis. My favorite area. My favorite area, and the best part of Torvis as well. We're going underwater. We're going underwater again. Here we go. It's okay because we got the gravity boost, so we're fine. Hello, bugs. Hello, bugs. Goodbye, bugs. Yeah. Now I, I. So after getting a crucial item. I love coming back and seeing how the in entire place changes and to adjust for it. I think that's the point of uh, going back to previous places once you get a brand new item in the new area. So you can to incentivize the player to go back and explore new areas or make mental notes of new areas. What I think... It's, it's, it's not the same as going across the same highway back and forth, Magmore Caverns. Metroid yeah, I can see that, and I'm, I'm kind of comparing this versus Metroid Dread in how it did backtracking. Because a lot of the times when you got something new in Metroid Dread, it was just like, hey, here's a cool new item, you can advance now, but just know that you saw something you could use this item on, like, an entire section ago. So if you want to head back there, you'll head back there eventually, but just know it's there. It also felt like, well, uh, you got this new this new item, and uh, one of these open spot op open spots on the map is where you're supposed to go. But that's uh, up to you to figure out, there, Buster. Is this area over here going to lead to a missile expansion, or is it going to lead to a new mm. boss? It's all about exploration. That's the that's the best part of any Metroidvania game. It just seems odd to give the player a a really good item, and then just slam the brakes on the way forward and go go back there. Yeah, I gotta go back there because you need something else. 
But while you're going back here to get this other thing, you can also get the other things that you may have missed. I just, I'm just imagining the main Luminoth is watching you go back and forth and just like, what are you doing? I, you, you know where you're going. <laughs> But, uh, but again, the hint system would would uh, point you in the right direction if you really, really don't know where to go. Because you would you would go around the Sanctuary Fortress, realize that there's nowhere you can really go, too many dead ends. Mm -hmm. By that point, you would probably get to... Oh, no. They evolved? Dark War Wasps! Uh -oh. It's got to them now! Shit! <laughs> oh, no! Advancements in War Wasp technology. Now they're darker. <laughs> oh, come on. Destroy them all. <laughs> The hives didn't change, did they? Uh, not really, no. Okay, just the wasps. They're just a bit tougher, but they still take just some power power beam damage. Uh, you don't have to do this, but I would like to, and maybe you would too. Straight back to the ship, yeah. Get back to the ship, get yourself a nice reload. Of everything. Never hurts. You know, I wonder if Samus keeps her suits from the different adventures in her ship. Like, hangs them up as kind of like mini trophies. Well, in the manga, she has an apartment, so... I completely forgot there was a manga. I think I reviewed that stupid thing, too. Is he stupid? Not stupid. What the fuck did you read? I, th I think I said stupid in response to saying I reviewed something. Yeah, so I read it. Was, it was well, good. I liked it. So yeah, I, I, I like the manga. Really kind of... Shed some nice backstory, but people de people debate the canon, the canonness of it all. <laughs> That's well, that, well it, it, it it makes sense. It has Ridley talking, which is a little weird, but yeah, that was that was a little off putting to me. I mean, he speaks and screeches here in the games, but that's because he's supposed to be a monster. And this is a game that focuses best when it doesn't have a lot of dialogue. I mean, d do you really think that we need really going ah? Samus Aran, <laughs> you have made your way to my base yet again, here to foil my plans. It, well, not this time, for I, Ridley of the Space Pirates, shall end your life. Yeah, the moment he starts monologuing is where I take him down terminal montage style. Yeah, so why would you do that when, when, a, when a simple <laughs> works just fine? I will say, if he uttered one word, it would probably be die, as he's looking directly at you with murderous intent. Yes. That might actually, like, increase the hype a little bit. And do you think Samus would go, YOU FIRST, and then start firing missiles, or I go, think she or would go, just... Oh no! Ridley! Oh god! It's him! It can't be! You versus the... the... <laughs> Damn it, I messed that up. <laughs> so... Uh, I, should, I should have mentioned my... Uh, a change in plans. Uh-huh. See, I'm gonna do Federation Force after this. Okay. That's coming. That's coming. Okay. Then I was gonna do Metroid Prime 3. Mm-hmm. And then Other M. So that way, when Metroid Prime 4 comes out, it'd be like coming home. But I can't end on a note like that. I was just thinking that you can't end on a note like that. Well, technically, you wouldn't be ending on it. Federation Force, then Other M. Then Prime 3. God, two, me we're gonna, we're two gonna, mediocres in a row. Oh, we, we got one mediocre and one... And then Prime 3. Hey, do you want to rip the band-aid off and do them both at the same time? Don't put too much work on the <laughs> test, man. Come on. <laughs> I, I do know Federation oh, 4. Here we go. Oh, hey. Joe's already confirmed. Recover missing gear. Uh, da -da -da -da. What, what you got for me? Show me. Go into the dark world. Go to the bottom of... That waterway. God damn it. Alright. Uh huh. Well, hey, it'll activate the yellow doors. Almost guarantee it. That's right. Cool. That's the reason why we couldn't get too much too much further in Sanctuary Fortress, because there's too many yellow doors. And we need the thing that opens yellow doors in order to open the yellow doors. Well, let's go get the thing that opens yellow doors, dude! I'm on for that! Let's go! Woo! And actually, at, at the rate you're doing the Metroid games, if you were to do Federation Force, Other M, Metroid Prime 3, it might come out by the time that there are reduxes of Metroid Prime 2 and 3. Well, I know that next year for you is going to be the year of the remake. Why not do Metroid Prime Remasters for myself? Maybe I can get all the log notes this time. Holy shit, that's a great idea. <laughs> maybe, I could do it, maybe I could do it in hard mode. Compare and contrast. We could also take a look at the visuals, because you did GameCube, and now we have a sexy new Switch version. It looks so good. Oh, it yes, does it look does. so good. Oh, my God. Let me have it. Oh, it's good. Also, Nintendo polling there. You can play it today. I was just like, what? And then I almost got it. <laughs> I almost got it. But I'm waiting for the physical, which yep. I probably, I don't probably have it by now, but I will. I will. 
It's just so cool. It's just like, oh yeah, you can play the digital version right freaking now, or just wait a couple weeks for the physical version for those of you who still put games on shelves. <clears throat> yeah. I, I figured it'd be better to have it. I'm waiting for them to pull a nice... I, I know the Switch doesn't do, like, special spines for games, but that would have been so cool to have Metroid Prime 1, 2, 3, and then 4 comes out to complete the picture. Yeah. Well, or, we'll see. We'll see what happens. At this point, they're just doing, like, the Bayonetta thing. Right now, we're going up that, uh, that spider ball rail that was where the Alpha Blog was. Remember there was there was one there was that room yes. that had the gravity boost and then across that was yeah, a spider ball we couldn't get to. Well now we can go out that spider ball. It leads uh, to a portal here. We are now the alpha. We are now at the bottom of the waterway in the dark world. <laughs> and there's a nice little monster up there waiting for us. It's the power bomb guardian. Oh my god! We're getting power bombs, baby! I forgot about <laughs> power <laughs> bombs! Power bombs! Power bombs! Really annoying boss fight, but uh, just stick with it, you'll be fine. Get those power bombs! Yeah! There is no way to damage this thing. Huh? There's no way to damage this thing. Do we have to, like. We have to. We boost have to in, put in these it. these bomb slots. Oh. Another another bomb spl uh, another bomb slot uh, boss, I suppose. Well, gotta go up this rail, and he's basically working as a really nasty splore. But, but instead of shooting out uh, tongues at you, he's shooting fucking power bombs. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! That's actually a huge threat. Ow! That that is. If you get hit Ew. by one of them, it will knock you off. It's taking a lot of health from you, dude. No, it didn't. Well, it's fine. Well, uh, I guess that's mainly just dark world energy. Okay, that's mean. Yeah, it's a little mean, but you gotta kind of, kind of go to them and uh, get into certain places. Yeah. Power bombs don't take so much, but it's just the added effect of everything trying to kill you. There's little inglets coming out and, and uh, hurting you too. Okay, that's what I was seeing. Yeah, so there's inglets uh, swimming around that you that uh, might be your pickups, I suppose, if you really need them. But there's this guy throwing fucking power bombs all every which way. <laughs> Get this third one. That's the toughest one. Shit, Please. shit, shit, no! Oh, you oh, almost, almost saved it. it. Right almost there. saved God. it. Oh, God. Ooh. I, I always find the third one's always the most difficult. Because that first one you can get pretty easily. That second one leads up pretty all good. And this one has... Like, and the fourth little... one, you don't have to go too far. You just got to go the other way. No. But this third one, that's the most distance you got to travel. All the way around, basically. God, I, oh, lo I love the fact that this was the only Ing monster that thought, you know what? I'm gonna toss power bombs at it. I'm just gonna stick right here, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I'm good. I, yeah, I, th I think we can do this. This one's really tough because you gotta wait for power bombs. And just what, what do you think, Inglets? Ooh. The okay. thing is, he's got a real knack of knowing where you're going. I noticed that. I wonder if they are set areas. Go, 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 go. Oh, God, go, Please? go, 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 go. Phew. Still got hit by it, but that's okay. It's okay. It's it's fine. We got like seven million E tanks. Right. I think we can tank it. This w this one shouldn't be too hard now. One more, baby. One, one more. We can go to the left now because it all goes in a in a complete track. Oh Jesus! Oh, no. <laughs> that didn't work. Power bomb directly on oh, your face. <laughs> yeah. I, I I think he he gets a bit more aggressive. Uh, the lower his health gets, I'm pretty sure, because he's sense. throwing a lot of goddamn power bombs. <laughs> directly exactly where you're at. <laughs> You anus looking <laughs> piece of shit! <laughs> oh my god, he's predicting oh where no. you are. Where you are? This is this is fantastic. I love this boss. It's not it's not too bad though. Like I said, we've only lost oh two my e god. tanks. Yeah, that's mean. Fuck you. No, that's mean. That's so <laughs> we got we got pickups in the inglets. We got four oh, beacons god. to get our health back. <laughs> you know, it's it's fine. Holy it's shit. okay. God, I love that. I think you're gonna go over here. See, this boss isn't too bad, but he, I, I, you can see how mean he can be, though. Yeah, it's throw two, throw, throw two at the ah! same time. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> it's learning, you jackass! Oh my god, if this actually was a learning boss, <laughs> they're fucking jackass. It, it has seen you do this route like three times already. It's just like, I wonder if she's stupid enough to do it. Yep, she's doing it again. I she's swear to God, though, <laughs> th these these enemies are doing behavior I've never seen before. <laughs> Maybe this just this is just a, a first run. Oh, uh, oh, oh Jesus! That's yeah, that was a prediction. Okay. Well, little anglet was got trying it. to attack we got you it. too. We got go, it. Go, 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 go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah! I did it. I did it. And First try. And that's it, because that activates this thing, which kind of, well, <laughs> smash. <laughs> Yeah, we gotta get the top oh, of that. Oh, that thing. lovely power bomb! Yes. Well, uh, we gotta go back up the track again. Now, obviously, yeah, well, that's fine. That's fine. But now we don't have, you know, some jerk off throwing power bombs all the time. Just tossing two at once got me. That's mean. Yeah, it's just like, here you go. Here you go. <laughs> here, 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 here. Oh, you're a ball. Well, I have a ball too. Here. Oh no. no. See, I think going uh, from that way is much better because then you got to go through this. And Ew, that's that's, that's is, gross. That's a gross way to do things. I don't like that. Well, especially when trying to dodge like multiple power bombs at the same time. It's just like, okay, really? Oh shit! Ooh, it's up here we Be finally have my beauty. Ha! Oh, the beautiful, sexy, wonderful, welcome power bomb. How many do you get? Well, you get more than you need. Let's see. You get so many power bombs, it's almost kind of embarrassing. It's another ammunition type, if that's the case. Yes, it is. Fuck! Alright, let's you see. You get it. two. Duh. You get two. <laughs> you just get two. Only two. Only two. You don't get three, like in one. You get two, like in this game. Uh, no more OP so. power bomb. Take this portal to get back. This is where the second temple key was. Right, right, right. Ultimate power. Fortunately, though, it's not that difficult to get power bomb ammo back. The game kinda can tell when you need it. Is it the same deal as you see you're using power beams, so they'll give you missiles? In this case, they're just what giving I like, you though, power bombs. So what I like, though, is that the power bomb is much easier to tell where the ammo is. Yeah, because they, they look like a flying They're, saucer or a, yeah. a, a drone from Star Wars. In the first game, it was just another ball that you think might look like energy. But here, it's different. Nice. One of the many advancements of Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. Well, now that we've gotten the power bomb oh, and the spider ball... That's so nice. The map has opened up even more! Even more! We're gonna be doing some cleanup, or are we pushing the way forward? Next time on Metroid Prime 2, we're gonna be doing some backtracking, I'm afraid. Yes! Hey, I'm okay with that. We got power bombs, man! We got power bombs, we got spider ball, and most of our time is gonna be in Aegon Wastes. We're oh, gonna, okay. We're gonna get a lot of stuff from there. Probably just gonna do a lot of cleanup, if not complete it. Then it's all gonna loop right back and take us back to Sanctuary Fortress in the meantime. <laughs> yeah. yeah! Oh, so fantastic. It's, it, all, it, all, it's all, it's all interconnected. It all, it all works out. It just works. It just works, except it actually does. <laughs> well, while we're here, I guess we could show off the power bomb. Show it's it. Just the, yes. You know, Kablooey! Oh my god, the explosion's so big. Ah, yes. And then another kablooey. Unlimited power. Unlimited, unlimited power! It is not unlimited, of course. Too limited power! And that's it for the example, okay. That's that, that's all. Alright. See you next time on Metroid Prime 2.